Hi y'all, this is gonna be kind of like a bummer <laughs> of a vlog, um, I think, I would assume. So if you are new to my videos, I would recommend going and checking out a travel video on my travel playlist or checking out some vlogs maybe from like a few weeks ago. This one is going to be um, me explaining some things and diving into some things that have changed in my personal life and me getting a bit real about um, what's been going on. So if you feel like you're new here and you want to deal with that, you're welcome. Um, but really I wanted to make a little video because obviously people who've been watching for a while, you're going to notice some changes happening in my life and I would rather be sort of as transparent as I'm comfortable with so that after this video I don't have to like address this again. With that we'll have a little bit of a chit chat later into this vlog about everything um, but I wanted to just kick it off more normally. It's Tuesday and I was at the office today. Actually, I have one official member of the email team with me and our kind of editorial team and he is in town today and tomorrow and possibly Thursday. He normally doesn't live here. So I came in so that we could hang out a little bit um, and that was really nice. I think it's like so nice to see your coworkers. And so that was nice. And now I'm actually heading back to my apartment. I'm meeting my dad tonight, actually, he's in town. He also doesn't live here. And um, he was invited through his work to a hockey game. So we're gonna go to, I think it's a Flames game. I honestly don't know. But what I do know is we are going in an hour to 10 Foot Henry for dinner and I've always wanted to try it. Apparently it's just like really amazing there. So I'm gonna go try that. And then we can probably chitty chat more tomorrow. Sorry for the weird angle. Just got back from the game and it was really fun. Honestly, the hockey game was like a little bit boring, but 10 foot Henry was so good. So I was with my dad and my dad works in finance. So I was also with um, a lady that works for Scotiabank so she took us to dinner and to the game and it was just like literally the nicest thing ever. And at 10 Foot Henry, we got the beets, asparagus, um, and Caesar salad. And then we got a cacio e pepe and a pomodoro pasta and then a chicken. And it was all little share plates and it was so, so good. Highly recommend. So I'm glad because that was my recommendation to them. They're both not from here, my dad and her. And I had just heard that Joe Jonas went there and that everybody has just kind of always told me it's great. So big slay. Um, and then we went to the game. We had the best seats. We were like right behind the net and which was really fun. We could see when we'd be like on TV and we were just like waving and got a couple of drinks, um, just like hung out and it was really fun. So that was a nice night. And... It's just nice to have a nice night, honestly. Tomorrow is another work day. I'm going to head to the office because my coworker is still in town tomorrow. Um, today felt really heavy. This evening was nice, though, so I'm hoping tomorrow feels a little lighter. Um, and yeah, I'm going to wash my face and go to bed. This is what I wore, by the way. Just this little cardigan and these little jeans. Okay, um... Sorry about this. So, nice night last night. I saw my dad and then um, this girl works for, this lady works for Scotiabank. She's actually a few years younger than me. So we had a lot of fun chatting. We went to 10 Foot Henry and she like ordered so much food for us. It was awesome. And then we went to the game and we were right behind the net, which was really fun, but also scary. Cause every time the puck would like hit the plastic, <laughs> Just like her and I would jump. I feel like I can't really like continue this vlog until I just 
be honest about what's going on and um, like I kind of said at the start, like I'm hoping I can just address this. I'm sorry, I just like almost laughed at myself being on the internet addressing something, but I just want to like talk about it because I know there will be questions and then um, hopefully this can just be something we just all move on from and don't talk about here. So um, as many of you know, I recently bought an apartment and unfortunately when we moved in, we ended up breaking up. I am not going to give details on why, but I will say that I made the decision um, to leave. So it's been honestly the worst and I've been staying there by myself for the past couple of weeks and it's just so sad to stay there and like obviously we had so many plans for that place and um like we had painted and you know there was like all this stuff we were gonna do so anyway I decided that I like like we weren't gonna live there together so we have like a few options one was like me staying and getting a roommate one was him staying and getting a roommate um or trying to sell it or trying to get renters <laughs> So we're gonna try to get renters. Neither one of us like wants to stay there. And I don't think either one of us wants a roommate. Hopefully that's not the worst choice because it does seem like it's kind of hard to rent properties right now. Um, and I've actually signed a lease at another unit that I will be getting this Saturday. So that's where I'm saying like, it's obviously gonna be obvious. So that's where I'm saying like, it's going to be obvious. So I'd rather just tell you what's going on because you're gonna see me moving again. Um, it sucks. It's obviously like, I'm so heartbroken and then it's gonna cost me a lot of money um, to move. Like I had to put down a down, like a damage deposit. My rent is now gonna be like almost double what I was paying before. And then I have to pay for movers a second time, but this time fully by myself, I'm gonna have to pay all my utilities like on my own. And before I've been splitting all those bills and stuff for the past four years, and then we've been together five years. So yeah, it's like really shitty. And so I've been trying to come on here and do a couple of vlogs to just like take my mind off of things, but I'm honestly like finding it hard to be in a good mood. Um, and even though I'm out doing things, it's like I'm very not present while I'm doing them. So I'm just doing my best. This week I have ballet. I start my acting classes. I'm just doing what I can to keep myself from basically being in the apartment by myself. And yeah, it just really sucks. So I have to now like kind of, we never unpacked. So I have to now just kind of like sort a bit of our stuff. And Saturday, I'm gonna start moving over like my closet. I tried to find an apartment, like I could have found one a little cheaper, but I was like, this already sucks so much. Like I might as well at least live in like a really fabulous place. So hopefully it's good, but it has like a walk-in closet still and stuff. So I'm still gonna get my closet together. I'll show you that. And it has like a nice bathroom and hopefully it's just fine. And yeah that's kind of the deal. So I've been pretty scattered. And um, like I said, this is not like something I wanted, but it is something I chose. So I have mixed feelings, obviously. And um, I have had people ask me about like, do you want to date this and that? No, that's like not on the table for me. I'm just like going to therapy and figuring out like who I am, what I am, what I want to do. It's just like shitty every day, <laughs> so I don't know. I felt like I needed to clear this out so that I can go back to just like, I'm gonna move. Once I move, I wanna just start making like regular content again. And um, I just didn't want people being like, did you move again? Like what's going on? And obviously that would just make me sad to talk about. So here you go. That's me. I try to keep a positive attitude with everything and I try to always like remember that in life nothing is guaranteed. Um, but it's sad. <laughs> okay, I don't want to like look sad going into work. So I'm gonna head in. I will be okay. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any tips, if anyone's 
ended a really long-term relationship at least for me this was really long term um i would love any advice and we will see what's next for me i'm i've got this lease and hopefully our place can get rented out relatively easy and honestly now it's like one big blank slate in front of me which is scary but um you never know what could happen so yeah thanks for listening well it is the end of another pretty shit day for me and i went and got myself a little subway i went and did ballet i've been doing some new stuff um with physio and so i went back this week to like see how that all worked um but it would be nice if i could start going more regularly because going once in a while is so hard like ballet is so hard anyway um yeah just a shit shit week shit month shit day i did get to see lots of coworkers today and that's nice. It is hard for me right now to like just talk about life. Like I can talk about other things. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about whatever. I don't want you to ask me what I did on the weekend. I probably cried and I probably did nothing. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna eat. I'm probably gonna watch a little Kardashians. I got a little Disney Plus trial that was like really cheap. It's like three bucks a month for three months. So I figured why not? I can watch the new season and then I need to go shower and go to bed. And that's kind of how it is right now. And then tomorrow I go back to the office. I don't really need to, but honestly I haven't worked from home here since moving in because it's too depressing. I haven't even gone in like the office room because it's all just the way the movers left it and like I don't know. It's just like too much. So, um, yeah, I pretty much sit here or I go sit in bed and I try to kind of avoid the rest of the apartment. So it will be nice to get my place on Saturday. I will probably not be staying there right away, but I do feel like I can go and start like organizing my closet and like organizing my bathroom and like try to at least feel like I have a little space that's my own. And that's that. We're just going through it here. If anyone else watching is going through a breakup, or you have, um, my heart goes out to you. It's literally the worst. And I feel like I don't want to put age into it because I'm not going to say what anyone else's experience is. But like, I do feel like at this age, I just didn't expect to end up single again. And so it feels in Calgary, I guess, too, it feels just extra shit and I feel really old and I feel kind of like a loser. So I'm working through those feelings. I know that that's like probably normal to feel early days, but like really everybody here is like so coupled up. Like I don't really have many single friends and then like, and especially I don't have any single girlfriends. I have some guy friends who are single, mostly like gay guy friends, but I don't really have any like girlfriends who are single, you know? So we'll see. I'm trying to like just, feel everything so that my body can get rid of the stress hormones <laughs> as much as possible and I'm trying to do better about eating and I'm trying to keep working out as you've seen I've been swimming and now I'm back at ballet and then oh tomorrow night I have acting well that'll be a treat <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that it's gonna be like a whole new experience meeting all new people Maybe it will be good because I do feel like I'm talking right now about how I don't have um, single friends in this night. Maybe I'll meet some people tomorrow. So actually, maybe that will be fun. Should be good. Yeah, anyway, I'm just going to eat, watch some show, try to distract myself because I just want to wind down for bed. And um, tomorrow I will do acting and then Friday I'm going to be like packing. Most of my stuff's still in boxes. I don't really want to show you because I don't want to edit this back and look at it and be sad, but like um, pretty much everything is still packed. I just had to like take my closet down. So I'm going to start, hopefully on Saturday, I can bring quite a bit over, but I can only carry so much. So we'll see how I do. I feel like I need like a trolley or something, but I obviously don't have one. Anyway, okay, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. 
I took a melatonin last night and it has unfortunately fucked me up. I'm so tired and it's like 11. I did a little work from home, but I have not accomplished much to be honest. So I have stuff to do. I'm here at the office. Um, I feel so far okay today. We'll see how that goes. And I got electricity set up at my new place last night. So I'm kind of all done. I had to get like insurance and electricity. I think those were the main things. I do need to book elevators for moving and I need to book movers because I will be moving like a mattress, a couch and like a shelf. Um, but the movers I reached out to quoted me $1,200 to move like literally not far at all. <laughs> like I'm literally gonna be in the same neighborhood and I like there's not that much to move so I'm just like pissed off so anyway I need to follow up with that but I'm too enraged <laughs> right now because I'm like are you kidding me it didn't even cost us that much to just do the move we just did so I'm just like over it I'm like this should be like $400 you know like it'll take you like an hour or two probably two anyway uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not in the best mood but I'm going into the office. Today's the last day that my coworker is in town, so I'll see him. And then this evening, there's actually like a big event that a couple of my coworkers are having, but I forgot that I had moved my acting to Thursdays from Wednesdays. So I'm actually going to be going um, to that tonight, which I am excited about, but it'll be a shame to like miss out on the event because it'll probably be really fun. Um, but it's okay. I'm honestly not in the most like social, mood and i really i'm avoiding small chat talk as much as i can right now so probably not the worst thing so i have no idea what to expect from acting i'm hoping it's just fun and weird and interesting and i hope the people are cool and not mean <laughs> and i also hope they're not like so young i guess i didn't really think about that but i hope people are like a little older I feel like normally adult stuff is like mid-twenties and older, but I could see it being younger. I don't know. I guess we will find out. All right, I got through the day and sorry, I'm literally chewing. Um, I'm heading back to the condo now to get ready for acting. Yeah, <laughs> it's better to have something to do. Um, in the evening right now, so I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna head to the condo, start getting ready. I just want to like maybe fix my hair a little. I don't love when it's straight right now, but I don't mind if it's like kind of pony and hanging out a little, but it's just like a little crazy right now. And then I think I need a sweater because I'm kind of cold. I'm just wearing this like tank top. And then that'll be that. The class is like two hours, so I just hope it's good. I don't feel the, the most like open and approachable today. And I'm sure we're gonna be put into like little groups to do stuff. And um, I wish I could skip it, but it seems wrong to skip day one because obviously everyone will meet each other and stuff. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna try to have the best possible attitude. And then tomorrow, I'll be coming here again because we've got podcasting every Friday. I'm in the office now for that, which is nice. Like I like when there's kind of like a consistent reason to come in. Um, so I'll be here for that. And then in the evening, I'm just going to be packing. I do feel like tomorrow evening is going to kind of suck. So I'm just sort of hoping today is fun and that I can maybe just take my mind off things, meet some people um people who don't know anything about me which is kind of nice when you're going through something like a breakup and um i can just kind of have that like fresh start with people so let's see how it goes hopefully when i check in about it it went well <laughs> but i don't know i'm so nervous okay i do want to show you my first day of acting outfit i'm just wearing a little sweater boots and then a little other jacket. Sorry, it's like really glary in here. Anyway, just trying to look casual and approachable. So that's the vibe. I'm leaving like super early for this because I have to print out like a form 
to bring because they won't let you email it in. So I have to go to Staples. Okay, you guys, day one of acting is done and it was really fucking weird. It was fun, but well, I'll turn my fan off just for a second. Um, the instructor like gave us his backstory, which was cool, but like very long. <laughs> and then at the very start, he made us all like stand up on the stage and just stare at each other in groups. And then we are doing this at a Jewish temple. So we had to do a whole, like if there was an active shooter or something like scenario with all the exits. So that's like good to know, but that was sad. And then after that, <laughs> it was just very like, <laughs> and then after that, he like asked everybody, like we all introduced ourselves finally and did like um, a little bit about us and all that. And he asked us all to like share an interest. And this one girl was like, She's like, what do you like to do for fun? So I was like, oh, I swim and I do ballet. This other girl was like, the girl right before me was like, I drink. And then he was like, he's like, that, I won't accept that. Like, give us something else. And then she said porn. And he was like, watching her doing it. She was like, I'm open. And then he was like, okay, what? Maybe something else. And she was like, oh, dancing. Anyway, that was insane. Um, I met one girl who is also an editor like a copy editor and so we've banded it up and uh yeah everyone seems weird and wonderful so we will just simply see how it goes and um wish me luck all right i am back at the office it's friday and our podcast recording today got moved so i think i'm just gonna end this one here let's end it on a high note um <laughs> this has been very roller coastery. something my dad said to me this week or when i saw him was how like I can be having the worst time and still smile. So I think that's like probably <laughs> to work on in therapy, but genuinely I also think one of my superpowers is keeping going and trying not to make everything about me, even when it's my life that's affected. So even though the situation is shitty and whatever, like I'm trying to not get my ego in it. I'm trying to just like, find these little glimmers of things that make me happy like going to ballet or going to acting or seeing a friend and um i do really believe that what's meant to happen will happen i don't know how much choice i believe we have necessarily in this life i think we have to take action but i think sometimes you're just pushed in certain directions and that's kind of how i've been feeling lately i really just hope everything works out with like renting out the condo because I know that will be a huge mess if we're not able to, because how am I going to pay for two places? But anyway, now I'm just like rambling my anxieties. Thank you for watching this one, especially if you've been around for a while. Um, I know this one's probably a surprise. I obviously did a lot of lead up videos to moving. I was quite excited about it. I featured Ben a lot in the videos or talked about him a lot. So um, yeah, I... I appreciate any comments, but I'm not really looking to like answer questions. So feel free to like leave a comment if you're feeling it, but I don't really want to like talk too much about the situation beyond that. Um, and yeah, hopefully tonight's probably just going to be kind of blah. And then I'm the stuff's already happening with the new building where I might not get it tomorrow, I might get it Sunday. I don't know. I'm kind of like waiting to hear what's happening but I will show you my new space in the next vlog. Hopefully I'll be able to start moving some stuff in, but our work team actually heads to a conference next week. So I will take you along for that as well. And acting was fun. I wanted to like talk about joining acting way later after I'd done it for a while, but because everything else was so shit, I figured I might as well share something that was fun with you this week. But yes, thank you for watching. Um, I will be okay. But if I seem off for a while and kind of, I don't know, I'm gonna try to keep up my schedule. Honestly, all I have is time now. So like, I really wanna focus on YouTube. I love it. And focus just on my activities and my hobbies and work and whatever so I will be here I apologize if I'm like sometimes skipping days more or I'm just like a little more rambly or down but you know you get it y'all get it yeah 
I'm gonna go get this work day done, finish the week up, and then I will pick the camera back up when I am feeling chatty again. Love you guys, thanks for being here. I'll see you soon, bye. Thank you.